tissue samples are the cornerstone of cancer research, but it can be hard for researchers to get their hands on them. They would have to go to two different places to maybe fill their research needs. Only two labs in the state collect tumor samples, Eastern Maine Medical Center in Bangor and Maine Med in Portland. Investigators would have to fill out a request at each one and wait, sometimes years, for specific study samples, but not anymore. With this collaboration, um, they're actually going to uh, be able to go to one web portal and have access to the inventories of both biorepositories. It's really building infrastructure, so this isn't just a one-time thing. Tara Hill of the Maine Cancer Foundation says the group awarded a $400,000 grant for the project. It will streamline requests, speed up research, and could eventually improve chances for patients through clinical work. So this grant is, an, is really important in helping us to meet the research need for cancer. Dr. Ann Breggia says there is a growing need for a new, less invasive form of tumor samples. We do collect some limited liquid biopsies. Uh, but we don't have uh, the personnel, the uh, equipment we need to do that on a large scale. The grant will support expanding this new research area and the solid tumor samples, expanding the field of Maine's cancer research. It really brings research that's happening here in the state far closer to the patients. The, the impact that it's going to have on, on people who have cancer is going to be tremendous. The portal is in the final stages of development and should be up and running for researchers in the next few weeks. In the studio tonight, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.